with action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. What's our story this time, Hoppy? Junior bad man, for reasons you'll soon find self-evident, began late one evening in town. Earlier, I'd caught a brief glimpse of an old fellow I'd thought I'd met once quite a long time ago and had been trying to trace for the last three years. I'd lost track of him, though, and now was trying to run him down. This here fellow you're looking for, Hoppy, an old fellow with whiskers, was he? Looked like a tramp? That's the one, Tony. You seen him, huh? Well, I think I have. Wouldn't know where to look for him, though. What do you want him for? I think he's Gus Snyder. You remember Leif Snyder, don't you? Died three years ago. Owned the Lazy S. Gus would be his brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. The bar 20 took over the Lazy S, you know. Well, if you can't tell me anything, Tony, I guess I'll... Hey, what, what's going on here? Well, shot. Doggone, sounds like something doing in town after all, Hoppy. Hey, there's your partner coming in. Hoppy, come on, runner. You'll need it. What's up? I'll see you later, Tony. Anytime, Hoppy, anytime. Now, what's the matter with you, California? Ain't nothing the matter with me, Hoppy. There's real trouble outside, though. Come on, I'll show you. Then what's the matter with the sheriff? Trouble's his job. I can't find him. He maybe had to leave town for a bit. Come on, hurry it up, can't you, Hoppy? Where, where are you taking me? Where is all this trouble? Right over there, at the bank, Hoppy. The bank? Yeah, there's a whole gang of outlaws inside. We've got them trapped in there, but they won't come out. And none of us dare go in their bathroom, so we figured that you hey, would... Hey, 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 hold up a second. I'm to go in there? That bank full of outlaws, and I'm to go get them? <laughs> I told you, Hoppy, ain't none of us getting her, but you... Neither have I. I got my limitations, and I know them. Oh, 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 Hoppy, maybe there's only one. I don't know. All I know is somebody's inside, because we've seen the wintry bus, and we think we heard him moving around in there. <laughs> now you got it down to my size. Where is this one that you broke, round back? Yeah, yeah, right next to the door. He must have climbed too. All then... right, I'll go back there. You go ahead and keep that bunch company in front. Maybe with all the noise they're making, I can slip in without being heard. Go ahead, keep that racket going. Huh. I ain't scared to do my part. All right, all right. Everything's under control, folks. We'll have them varmints in a jiffy now. Nothing to get excited about. Uh, hey, 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 what's that? Hush up, hush up. Something's going on in there. Hey, what's that? I'll come back here. Well, that sounds like a real fight. Here, somebody in there, she's in there. Who's hey, wrecking hey, the place? Sure. Hold it, hold it, well, wait, wait, wait. They've stopped. No sound. No sound at all. Say, uh, you don't think Hoppy's maybe been killed, do you? You, well, hey, anyway. you think we ought to win and see and uh, maybe... Uh, wait. Somebody's coming. I can hear footsteps. Why, it's Hoppy. Here, Hoppy. The gang, Hoppy. Where is it? I got it right here. Come on, you. Hoppy. That's the gang? That's it. But it's only a boy. That's right, you heroes. He's only a boy. But I don't blame you for being afraid of him. He must be all of ten years old. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and the adventure called Junior Batman. An hour has gone by, Sheriff Kilgrew has been found, and now Hoppy's in his office with his captive, the ten-year-old boy the timidity of the townspeople had exaggerated into a gang. The sheriff and Hoppy have been trying to question the youngster, but have found it rough going. Well, he just won't talk, Hoppy. Kid must have come from someplace. He must have folks or something somewhere. 
What do you think about it? Ah, uh, he's probably got his reasons for not talking. If I were you, I'd send out descriptions and see what that brings you. Here, I'll do that. Well, we got to call you something, kid. Can't you even tell us your name? Well, if you got to call me anything, just call me Wildcat. Everybody else does. And who's everybody else? Ah. Uh, won't answer that one either, huh? Well, then, uh, who's your partner? How do you know I've got one? You must have. A kid your age couldn't get into a mess like this without one. All right, we'll find out who it is. Don't worry about that. What do you think of that wildcat handle, Sheriff? <laughs> I think it just exactly suits him. <laughs> For my money, it's too tame. I tried to handle him, and he kicked like a steer. You're holding him over for the circuit court, are you, Sheriff? That's right. What else can I do with him? Oh, I don't know. But you're not thinking of holding him in your calaboose, are you? Hmm? Why not? Oh, he's too young. You know the kind of bums you have in there as a rule. Why not turn him over to me? To you? Sure. Take him out to the bar 20. I got to drive a herd over the railhead, and I'll be gone for a week or two, but that isn't so long. In the meantime, California can look after him. Is it a deal? You'd be responsible for him? Of course I will. Well, you'd have him for quite a spell, Hoppy. Court don't set for a couple of months yet, you know. Ah, that's all right. I think we can handle him. Well, I'd rather you tried it than me. Sure, take him if you want to. <laughs> Welcome to him. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Wildcat, let's get going. Hoppy! Hey there! Hello, California. How have things been going? You should ask. Golly, am I glad you're back from that cattle drive. That was a dirty trick you played on me, Hoppy. <laughs> yeah? What was? You taking that herd and leaving me with a kid. All you were to do was look out for 3,000 head of rattle-brain mavericks. <laughs> I had to look out for him. Oh, he wasn't that bad, was he? Oh, you don't know the half of it. Know what he done? <laughs> he bet me I couldn't ride old Blue. Well, you should have taken him up on it. Sounds like a good bet. I did. How was I to know he'd put burrs in their blankets? <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> sit for a week. Slim, Slim, he just got up and quit. Slim did? What for? He said when a man puts his pants on, he has a right to know there wouldn't be snakes in <laughs> Oh, I see. You shouldn't have told me I could spank that young imp of Satan. Didn't you? Well, the times I wanted to, I, 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 I was so mad I couldn't. <laughs> oh, my gosh, there it goes again. There goes what? Well, that's over at the cookhouse. What is it? What it is, I don't know. But if Wildcat ain't in on it, I'm a curly wolf. Come on, we'll see. I want to see it. I want to see how you handle this. Oh, no, 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 no. So come on out, Jing. Hand over them donuts and you're a dead man. Wildcat. Give me that gun. California, help Ching. He looks like he's going to faint. And I wouldn't blame him. Take it easy. All right, Wildcat. Where did you get this gun? Well, you try and find out. I will find out. What did you think you were going to do with it? Well, I just wanted some donuts, that's all. Wanted donuts? Then why didn't you ask for them? Ask for them? You mean just asking? Why, oh, you're kidding. Who ever heard of getting things just by asking for them? Wildcat, I'm glad I came back. Time we had a serious talk. Maybe afterwards we can be friends. Ah, save it. Why do I care what... Yeah, save it. Hey, what are you rolling up your sleeves for? Uh, When I talk with a man, I like to make sure I speak a language he understands. Wildcat, come here. Come on, sir. Uh, Spanking what California wanted to give you, Wildcat. But I am the boss of this ranch. So the pleasure's right to mind. Crying, old chum? What? Oh, gee. Gosh, it's you, Mr. Pennyweather. Gee, I, I thought you'd... Not I deserted you, old chum? Well, did you see I haven't? <laughs> We're together again. And believe me, old friend, everything is going to be all right. But gosh, Mr. Pennyweather, what are you doing here? Well, I'm employed here, Wildcat, old chum. You're what? I'm employed here. 
That means that means I I work here. Work? Oh no, you couldn't. <laughs> I could when necessity requires, and on this occasion, of course, I have my reasons. California Carlson hired me. Hmm. Mr. Cassidy must have given you quite a spanking, Wildcat. I do believe this is the first time I've ever seen you cry. Oh, it wasn't the spanking that hurt. He hardly even raised any dust. But afterwards, he made me eat them donuts. I mean, I thought you wanted them. Well, he didn't have to make me. <laughs> I believe I see what you mean. Um, tell me, would you, uh, would you care to get revenge, old chum? Revenge? What do you mean? Well, make him sorry for his cruelty, old friend. I believe, I believe I know a way. He just sold some cattle. Now, I'm certain he has the money in the house. <laughs> hey, don't you think it would be pleasant if, if we had that money? Oh, gosh. Could we? Well, I think we could. Now, it all depends upon you. We'd have to stay here for a while and gain their respect and confidence. And, well, that means... Uh, yeah? Well, that, that means you'll have to keep on your good behavior. If you don't, they won't trust us. You mean not do anything normally? No, not anything. Well, it'll be terrible hard, Mr. Payne. Yeah, I appreciate that, old friend. But that's all right. If it helps us get even with Hopalong Cassidy, it'll be doggone worth it. <laughs> You're uh, Pennyweather, aren't you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I am, Mr. Cassidy. Uh, I thought so. I'm wondering if I didn't see you in town a couple of weeks ago. I was looking for you, but couldn't find you. In, in, in town? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't hardly see how. Well, never mind that. The important thing is, I think you're a man I've been looking for. I know you call yourself Pennyweather, but just between us two, isn't it a fact that your real name is Gus Snyder? Gus Snyder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly not. My name is Claude Cantelever Pennyweather, sir. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. Do I do I look like a man who'd be called Gus Snyder, Mr. Cassidy? <laughs> That's just the point, Pennyweather. You do. You'd be surprised how Well, well, my gosh, Hoppy, what you got here? I uh, like him, do you, California? I should say so. Pretty a hoss I've ever seen. Where'd you get him? From Lucas over at the pitchfork. He didn't want to sell, but I talked him into it. You really like him? Oh, he's a beauty. A little light for you, though, ain't he? Oh, he isn't for me. He's for a friend of ours. Think Wildcat might like to cinch a saddle on a fellow like this? Oh, he'd be crazy for it. Uh... Hey, you mean, uh, you mean you really bought him for Wildcat, Papa? Sure. He's been a pretty swell kid lately. I thought I'd surprise him. Oh, I've never seen such a change in a kid in all my born days. Well, why not? He's learned we're his friends. Poor kid's been kicked around so much, he probably never knew what friends were. How about finding him for me? Sure thing, yeah. Uh, I got him and Penweather in the house cleaning it up a little. Hey, Wildcat! Wildcat! <laughs> surprise for you! Wildcat. Well, you're going to have a new master, old fella. I think you'll like him. Yeah, sure you will. He's a little lively, of course. I don't... Hey, Hoppy! Yeah? Hoppy! Hoppy! They're gone. They're both gone. Oh? Well, look out for the corrals. Maybe they went out there. I don't think we'll find them there either, Hoppy. Why not? You know that $10,000 you had in the safe? Yeah, what about it? It's gone, Hoppy. The safe's open. And the money's gone. <laughs> Back to Hopalong Cassidy's adventure with the Junior Batman. It is now only a moment since Hoppy made sure that the money in his safe was gone and Wildcat and Pennyweather had vanished. Now listen, California, you'll have to go after the sheriff. I'll be waiting for you, so make it as fast as you can. What do we need the sheriff for? Can't we go after him and bring him back ourselves? But I've got to tell the sheriff before we start. I was responsible for Wildcat, and he's got a right to know I've let him get away. Yeah, but even so. And there's another reason. What's that? I've been looking for Gus Snyder. The sheriff thought he might be able to locate an old picture of Gus for me. 
If he has done it, bring it along. And don't go can see why you have to go looking at pictures at a time like this. Just get going. Oh, I'm going. I'm going all right. I just wish I'd known it sooner, that's all. Known what? That you was going to turn into such an all-fired slave driver. Oh. If I had, I'd never have got me the job here. Uh, I'd, I'd have gone to work. Oh. <laughs> Wildcat, pull up now. Oh, 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 hold oh, it. Oh, oh. What is it? What's the matter, Mr. Pennyworth? Uh, nothing, old chum. I just think we've traveled far enough for one day. We'll, uh, we'll make camp over there. Yeah, we'll be reasonably safe here, I believe. And I really think we've left them a trail. They'll find it difficult to follow. Yeah. Um, oh, here. Here we are. Uh, uh, plenty of fuel at hand and all quite cozy. Uh, you can give me a hand, old chum. I'm afraid our ride is giving me quite an appetite. Oh, sure. I'll get the fire started. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Come back here. What do you want, Mr. Pennyweather? <laughs> You're looking a bit dispirited, old chum. Perhaps it would cheer us up to, to have a look at the spoils, hmm? And besides, I, I'm not at all sure that we made anything like an equitable division. Now, suppose you get yours, old chum, and I'll get mine. And then, then oh, we can... Uh, well, let's not bother with the money now. Let's just eat. Not interested in money? Well, well okay, what, what's come over you, old friend? Oh, you don't regret what we've done, do you? Oh, sure not. It's all right. I wanted to do it. Oh? I've I just been wondering how... How old Hoppy's been taking it, that's all. How... Ho- Good heavens! You haven't learned to like the man, have you? No, I don't like him, but... But what? Uh, <laughs> not afraid that taking the money hasn't been sufficient revenge, are you? Uh, let's not talk about it, Mr. Pennyweather. Let's just fix the meat. Oh, oh boy. Well, oh, oh, steady. Uh, Come on the trail. I don't see it. Ah, there it is, California. They took that side hill and cut back through the gully. That's the way you make it, Sheriff? Yeah, I'll make it that way, Hoppy, now that you pointed it out. And I think we're gaining on them, Hoppy. I know we are, but old Pennyweather's a better man on the trail than I gave him credit for. He's fooled us a couple of times now. No chance they'll get away, though, is it? Not a chance. But let's make sure of it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get it go. Get it. Well, still another camp made and done for a while, Cap. Now it's time to be on our way again. Oh, feel rested enough, do you? Oh, sure. Sure, I feel fine, Mr. Pennyworth. Well, fine, fine. Then the first thing you might do is to scatter this fire and cover with sand. Sure. Uh, before we go on, uh, perhaps I uh, I should explain something. Yeah? Uh, you, you may have wondered why, uh, when we're so hard-pressed, we've stayed here as long as we did. Well, I ain't been wondering nothing, Mr. Pennyweather. You know what you're doing, I guess. Well, I hope I do. The fact is, we're much closer to capture than I've been willing to admit. Yeah? You know, I had my reasons, of course. The fact is that in spite of our danger, I thought it imperative to rest our mounts. Oh, sure. Now, we have only one chance to escape. What's that? From this point on, to ride all out. Oh. Now, you see, we've rested our mounts, but it's likely that Cassidy and the others have not... Now, if they haven't and try to give chase, <laughs> we're certain to escape. Our horses will naturally outlast theirs. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they would. Now, on the other hand, if they fail to fall into our little trap and aren't content merely to remain on our trail, well, we're done for. Sooner or later, they're bound to come up with us. Uh-huh. Now, we do have a chance, though. The... There's uh, just one thing. What's that, Mr. Pennyway? Now, once we're in the saddle, we must stop for nothing. Neither one of us. Now, that means, of course, that if my horse should outrun yours, I I mustn't wait for you. Oh, sure not, Mr. Pennyweather. Well, I wouldn't want you to. Yeah. No, no, no. Should you wait for me if your horse is the faster, which seems more likely, you not being anywhere near as heavy as I am. Oh, 
But look, I wasn't thinking of it that way, Mr. Pennyweather. I couldn't Oh, nonsense. You can and will do anything I tell you to. But come on now. We have to hurry. And I think I've, I've just seen them topping that ride. And remember, now's the time. Ride all out. We just... <laughs> Wildcat, what is it? I've twisted my ankle, Mr. Pennyweather. Oh, here. Lean on me. Now, we have to hurry. Come on. We, we... I'm sorry, Mr. Pennyweather. I can't do it. I can't walk. Could you lift me to the saddle, Mr. Pennyweather? Oh, I'm sorry, old chum, but I'm afraid I just couldn't. If I were younger, of course it would be... Then you go on. Don't wait for me. You remember what you said. Sorry, old chum. But you said... I can't leave you. I'm afraid I... I'm afraid I was just talking nonsense. Uh, We've shared the past together, old chum. (laughs) I'm afraid that's the way we'll have to face the future. Hoppy, any sign of him yet? What's that over there? Destiny! Is it Mr. Destiny? Hey, I heard somebody, Hoppy. Pull up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Destiny! California! Over here! It's Pennyweather. Come on. There's the kid, Hoppy. Looks like something's wrong. I noticed that. Pennyweather, what's wrong? He's quite dead, Mr. Cassidy. He's hurt himself. Ah, oh, too bad. Hurt himself. What is it? What happened? It's his ankle, Mr. Cassidy. He twisted it. To... All right, stick him up. Huh? That means the three of you. Hurting my ankle won't stop me from shooting none. Now, look here, kid. Shut up! Mr. Pennyweather, you get on your horse while I keep these zombies covered. Don't you try and stop him, Cassidy. That goes for you, California, and you, Cher. Try it, and I'll fill you so full of holes you'll never hold water. Now, back to Hop Along Cassidy. Wildcat, Wildcat, old chum, you don't know what you're saying. I know what I'm saying, Mr. Pennyweather. I know exactly. Maybe I can't get away, but you're gonna. Cassidy or these others think they can stop you. They won't live long enough to be sorry for it. <laughs> You'll do to ride the river with, Wildcat. Now, yeah, I appreciate this, Wildcat, old fella, but it, but it just won't do. Why won't it? Well, what would become of you? Well, we, we, we both uh, helped ourselves to Mr. Cassidy's money, you know, which means we're, we're, we're both guilty. I might escape, but you'd be certain to go to jail. Well, I guess you don't savvy, Mr. Pennyweather. No? <laughs> what is it I don't savvy? Well, I didn't steal nothing. But what? Right so, Mr. Pennyweather. I didn't take a cent of that money. Oh, I know I should have told you, Mr. Pennyweather, but I... Well, I guess I just didn't know how. Mr. Cassidy, if you go back to the bar 20, you'll find my half of the money in that big old Bible back there. That's where I hid it after Mr. Pennyweather gave it to me. Well, I... This, this is amazing. Well, Cassidy didn't seem such a bad sort of fellow after you got to know him. Thank you, Wildcat. Mr. Cassidy, I've been an old fool. I liked you, too, <laughs> but I didn't have sense enough to realize it. My share of the money is in the saddlebags. Take it. I'm quite prepared to pay for my crime by going... Ooh, by going to prison. <laughs> Don't see why it should, do you, Sheriff? No, I never heard it was a crime for a man to steal his own money. Of course it is... Steal my own money? If you'd admitted you were Gus Snyder when I asked you, you wouldn't have had to steal it. I couldn't explain, though, because I wasn't sure you were Gus. Now I am sure. The sheriff found an old picture that proves it. Well, I, I, I simply don't understand, Mr. Cassidy. There's nothing much to understand, Pennyweather. You're your brother's heir, that's all. When the bar 20 took over his ranch after he died, it owed the money to you. We wanted to pay you, but couldn't find you. You shouldn't have changed your name. Oh, well, I hated the other one so. This, this is amazing, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> sure it is. But what I want to know is, where'd Wildcat come from? 
Who does he belong to? Well, don't rightly know, but if he belongs to anyone, Mr. Cassidy, I reckon it belongs to me. Oh, I see, I see. You see, I'm only a distant relative, but uh, I'm afraid he has no other. I see. See, his parents died when he was very young. And since then, well, since then, we we kind of making our own way together <laughs> as well as we've been able to. <laughs> well, you ought to do better from now on. I think Wildcat needs some looking after. You better settle down, maybe around here. I guess Wildcat could even use some schooling. What do you think of it, Wildcat? What? You mean about the schooling, Mr. Cassidy? <laughs> well, not exactly. I mean about settling down here. Oh, Oh, that would be fine. Then it's a deal. <laughs> Up along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Six Little Men Who Were Green was written by Herb Purdom, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>